In this video we're going to show you how to use our Tribrid DVRs and add IP cameras to them. So first thing, once you've turned on your Tribrid DVR, uh, you go into camera and you'll notice that it's missing a remote uh, registration menu or remote device menu. Go into channel type and once you open up a Tribrid DVR, depending on the model it has, it'll support a different number of IP cameras. If let's say you have a Tribrid DVR from prior to late 2016, it will only list, let's say, uh, this menu, and you will not have this button called Add IP Cam. Uh, so if it's a 16-channel DVR, you'll have to add IP cameras by working your way back. And um, once you switch over these channels 14, 15, or 16, or how many ever you like, depending on the size of your DVR, you convert them to IP, you hit Apply, and the DVR reboots. So in this case, I'll show you that by um, uh, applying the changes and rebooting it. Now the number of cameras you can add as IP is dependent on the series of DVRs you get. If you have a small uh, a DVR it might not have the ability to go back and convert all of these to IP. They're grayed out here but they can be turned into IP by going backwards. Not all DVRs offer that and it's different among each DVR. So in my case I'm using our top of the line uh, DVR that's a four SATA unit. Hit apply and wait for the DVR to reboot. Once your system restarts you will have to log back in. And then you'll have to go back into the camera and channel type menu and you'll see they've been converted to IP here and you can go into the registration menu and hit IP search if you have one of our IP cameras, it'll show up as a private manufacturer that's guaranteed to be compatible with our NVRs and Triber DVRs. If you're using an IP camera purchased elsewhere, we cannot guarantee it, unfortunately. Using our IP camera allows a two-way talkback in between the camera and the NVR. So our camera turns on, you just hit Add by selecting the checkbox here, and you can add it. And give it a couple seconds, it turns green, and you see video. Now I'm going to delete that and show you how you can turn our um, 2017 Tribrid DVRs and take advantage of the additional IP channels that are offered beyond uh, the number of BNC ports. So since this is a 16 channel DVR by default, it lists your first 16 channels and it does offer an additional 48 IP. Some DVRs offer an additional 4, some offer 8, all the way up to 20 uh, or 24 on our Slimline DVRs and in our 4 SATA and uh, eight SATA units, uh, we have a variety that can offer up to an additional 48. So in order to access those additional channels, you hit add IP cam, press OK, and the DVR reboots again. Now once your DVR has uh, rebooted, you log back into the DVR. I'm going to skip my startup wizard and go into the main menu. Now the important thing to notice in here is you go into camera, channel type, and before you didn't have the scroll bar and now you do and you can actually scroll down all the way to see all those 64 channel IP cameras. Now uh, once you've done this, if you go into the registration menu, you hit IP search. If you were to add a camera by using IP search, like so, you will add it to the first available IP channel, starting from the lowest number possible IP channel, so in this case it was number 14. If you want to edit where to put it, um, you cannot just go back into a camera's edit menu and add it or, or edit it, its channel number. You need to actually delete it. So if you want to add an IP camera to a specific channel, you already know which channel to add, you can do manual add. Select the channel you want to put it on. In this case, I want to put it on channel is a, a camera number on the back so I want to put it on channel 24 I know my IP address from my camera because it listed it in there and then I know my username and password and I press OK and uh, you see it added it on channel 24 status is green so all I need to do is go back and view channel 24 and here we go now this is a 4 megapixel camera and this DVR, Tribrid DVR does support up to 4 megapixel. 
So I can go into my encoding section and uh, by using our cameras you can actually change the resolution on the camera by just accessing it through the NVR. You don't get this sort of propagation when you use a on reef based camera. So as you see the camera just kind of flickered in the back because it changes resolution and uh, you can see the quality of the footage there. So that's a 4 megapixel camera on a tribrid DVR. Thanks for watching the video.